Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here, bringing you episode 12 of my series, Who Performs Best, BPL Striker Edition. In this episode, Van Persie will be going up against Torres in the last quarter-final match. The other three quarter-finalists, if you do not know, are Aguero, Jovetic and Hernandez. So interestingly, if that's how you say it, um, if Van Persie does win in this, that'll mean only Manchester City and Manchester United players will be in the semi-finals. And if that is the case, then one Manchester City and one Manchester United uh, player will be in the final as Aguero is playing Jovetic and potentially Hernandez Van Persie. Or Hernandez Torres. I don't actually have a clue how these are going to perform. In this team, since neither played in this team, they've played obviously in a different team and I cannot remember what that is. Anyway, I'm rambling, so let's just get straight into the gameplay. Okay, so I did lose that game 3-1. I am very happy that game ended because it was unbelievably laggy, as you probably could tell through the highlights. A bit disappointed I lost, but that's how it goes on FIFA. You win with some, you lose some. Anyway, the match ratings are very, very close actually. Robin Van Persie got a 7.2 and Fernando Torres a 7.3. So neither really did perform extremely well. The match stats, he had 10 shots, 6 on target, I had 5, 2 on target. He probably deserved to win, but I'm not entirely bothered. It's about the ratings. Anyway, on to game 2.
okay, so that game did end as a 2-1 win to me, which I'm very happy about. Pretty even uh, throughout the entire match, so yeah, definitely pleased with that result. Uh, Van Persie got an 8.5 rating and Torres an 8.1, so I think Van Persie's slightly ahead, but this is very, very close still. Uh, they were a lot better rates and first match obviously he had 4 shots, 3 on target, I had 10, 9 on target, I didn't realise I had that many to be honest. So yeah, I think I did uh, completely deserve the win, I had a lot more possession as well. Anyway, on to game 3. Okay, so that game was a very high scoring game, I won 6-3, um, I'm ecstatic with that, it was a great game, it was all attack and display from both teams. Anyway, the ratings, Van Percy got an 8.7 and Torres a 9.5, so that does mean it is very very close going into, well, <laughs> going into the review of the match ratings, it is extremely close, that evens it out. So it will be very interesting to see who does make it to the semi-finals and who will play Hernandez. Anyway, the match stats. He had 18 shots, 9 on target. I had 15, 12 on target. So I had more on target, but he had more shots overall. Mainly because his were all from like 40 yards and stuff like that. But wait there, I think I can show you there. There's where it, his, well, to be honest, I had quite a lot of long shots anyway, so I can't really say anything. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that result, and anyway, on to the match ratings. Okay, I'm back for the review. Now, before I start this, uh, <laughs> to be honest, I praise most of the players in the BPL, uh, the strikers, but generally, I think they are all good if you utilise them correctly. Like, I've got to say, they, Torres and Van Persie, make a good partnership but they'd probably be better with other players like because they're both very similar players I mean I hope you did like that I think it was roughly 40 yard uh, shot from Torres uh, Van Persie nearly scored a couple of them like he put a lot more power and had the ball like hit the ball a lot higher like the top corners instead of the bo bottom corners that's some like I worded that terribly but yeah basically I think Van Persie overall is better at shooting and that's to be expected because of his 89 shots, but Torres is 
kind of more clinical and is there more. He's like always there. Like when you're lofting a through ball, it's usually him. Uh, and obviously, Van Pace is known for his bodies in real life, and on FIFA, they've incorporated that very well. And both players are two footed, and both are relatively good at heading. Uh, Van Persie's got better like corners and set pieces and stuff like that. But as I say, overall Torres seemed to be in the game more than Van Persie. But they were both great players. But they probably each be better with someone like probably like Hernandez or Guerrero, someone who's pacey, who's quick, who can get the ball. Because Torres and Van Persie are tall and are both good at shooting. But anyway, on to the final match ratings. In game 1, Van Persie got 7.2, Torres 7.3. In game 2, Van Persie got 8.5 and Torres 8.1. In game 3, Van Persie got 8.7, Torres 9.5. So the average match ratings were Van Persie 8.13 and Torres 8.3 so that does mean that in this episode Torres has won now I am extremely surprised to be honest I mean them ratings are either the highest or the second highest I think like overall that I've ever had on who performs best so they are both brilliant and I'm as disappointed as anyone uh, since I am a Man U fan, that Rooney and Van Persie have both went out. Like, I also hope Van Persie would win the entire thing. But as I've said three times now, I think, this series doesn't determine who's the best striker. It determines who performs best for me in three games. So whoever wins this isn't necessarily the best striker. They've just performed better while I've been playing as them. So Van Persie... I'm not saying Torres is better, I'm saying Torres won in this episode, but anyway, I'll go over this again in the start of next episode, but the four semi-finalists are Aguero, Jovetic, Hernandez and Torres, so we've got two Man City players, one Manchester United player and one Chelsea player. So there'll be four more episodes of this series, the two semi-finals, the third place playoff and then the final itself. But anyway, next episode will be Aguero vs Jovetic in the first of the two semi-finals. If you have enjoyed, please do hit that like button, it really does help my channel. Subscribe for daily FIFA 14 content, and peace.